hello, good morning, catch us in the vehicle, which is not often these days that we're vlogging from the car. Anyways, I've got Christopher, we've got Benji, and uh, we are headed to the drop pickup spot. That's what they call it, is a drop spot, but it's really a pickup for us uh, for our first as your standard grocery ish order. So this is a, if you don't know, this is not sponsored by the way, I'm just telling you. Uh, as your standard is a sort of like bulk type food place you can purchase meats and grains and all that kind of stuff. It's really good if you're trying to build up a food storage or if you just want to be able to buy a hill of beans, 10 pound bag of beans, um, that sort of thing. Should so, I the whoa, good for building up food storage, bulk food type items. Uh, so I ordered a lot of like rice and beans. I think I got some flour. I tried to order like three and a half gallon buckets, five gallon buckets for food storage, but they were all out of those. So basically they do this drop, I think it's once a month. Uh, so you have to go on and to the website and find where there's a drop near you. Then you place your order and it gives you the dates. Like for me, it was like, you know, this is the day that you do the pickup and then about a week before the pickup day um, is your last day to make any changes to your order. So you can continue to add things and stuff like that to your order up until that final date uh, before. So ours was like, the last day was like July 20th where I couldn't change the order anymore. But yeah, and then you just, Go pick it up. So that's what that's what we're doing. The drop spot's about 30 minutes from our house. The person there's usually somebody who like runs the drops and stuff. There's one person that kind of handles that stuff. So she sent a text message last night, a big group message to everybody who had stuff in the order, just reminding us of the pickup today. And it's kind of a a weird. It's not, I don't want to say weird, but definitely like a different way to get food not used to meeting strangers in a parking lot and taking food off the back of a semi truck. They're taking the Costco to you. Yeah, basically. So we'll see. I'm going to, you know, I just, so many of you guys ask questions. So I figured, oh gosh, the sliding, I'm very sorry. Uh, so many of you guys ask questions. So I figured I would just bring y'all along for this, the experience of picking it up and how it all goes. And then, then when we get home, I'll share with you guys what we got. How's that sound? Something like a I, I don't even know what we got. Is there other meats so, in there? Just in the most exciting thing. I did not do meats or anything like that. I'm pretty sure I stuck to all dry goods this time. Nice. Uh, because my main reason is wanting to, now that we've got the garage, which I need to give you guys an update on the garage. We got the epoxy flooring done. CR built a bunch of the shelving. So we're making progress on the garage. Uh, but since we're working on building up food storage out there, I wanted to get some things that are dry goods. Anyways, you're excited, I can I, tell. I'm anxious, yeah. This is gonna be good, I feel like we should go. You're right. anxious? Are, are, we, are we going You're more right? nervous than a long-tailed oh, cat in a room right under... full of rocking chairs? I don't even, I don't even know what that means. You're more nervous than a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Where do you pull these out from? <laughs> Where is that from? That's a southernism. Is that up next to the turnip truck? Yeah. yeah, do you fall off the turnip truck? I've never seen a turnip truck. Anyways. <laughs> All right, long-tailed cat. Benjamin's laughing. Um, okay, well, was there anything actually, else you wanted actually, to add? This is actually pretty cool. I feel like, so do you have the coordinates for the bunker we go to right after this, or is it, does that come later? I'm not taking you to the bunker. <laughs> You're not allowed in the bunker. I feel like we're in 2000, that movie 2012. Blast from the past. Oh, that too. Yeah. All right, Brandon let's go pick Frazier. up our food. Is that who that is? We're becoming full blown preppers. Listen, everybody laughs at those people until the world's in crisis and they're all hungry and they got food and you don't. It ain't funny then, is it? Anyways, there's the semi. There's a bunch of cars. We're all parked in this parking lot, and I guess we're going to start unloading the truck and then loading our stuff into our cars. That's 
A sequence of events, I'm assuming. All right. How did you feel about that? Very nice people. Holy smokes. Yes. Everyone is really helpful. So there's a semi. You just they unload everything, call your name that's written on the boxes. You grab your boxes and bags and whatever else and load them in your car and away you go. I need to check out this website because I mean, there was tons of different stuff that they were, people were picking up. I mean, they yeah. saw like fertilizer, uh -huh. milk, yes, glassware. Uh huh. It's just uh, there's a lot. All right, so here's where we are at with the garage now that we're home. You can see we did the epoxy. What is that? Oh, it's just bike tire marks. Okay, I have to relax because people are going to use this floor, and I need to not worry about them scuffing it up. That's the purpose of it. So it looked great, but now the kids have been in here scuffing it up, so it doesn't look so fabulous. But it, you know, it's not perfect, but it'll do pig, that'll do. And then this is our industrial size shelving, um, sort of the layout for this. Um, Ciara's gonna do like this little home gym area over here, but this is storage. And then this corner is gonna be kind of like a, almost like a pantry type thing for right now. So I've got two more smaller shelves that are coming to go over here. And so this will kind of be like a walk-in. So this is where we're gonna do a lot of food storage and stuff. We're gonna have our outdoor refrigerator and freezer over here. Um, eventually I may wall this in and make a very small like cold room root cellar where I can use a window AC unit to keep it cool. Uh, but we'll see, that's probably down the line a little bit. We're gonna unload the order and I'll show you guys what we got. A shame, think something new under the sun. Mm. You can't take back some things you already done, done. This is our boxes. Let us go through them. First up in Le Order are some glass canning jars. They look like this. They're the wide mouth ones. Ooh, it's uh, that's there you go. Can you see how humid it is here? This glass just filled up with condensation. A chatter's balls, kids, a chatter's balls. Okay, so a big old pack of canning jars. Another, I think these are the same size, yes, of canning jars. Do you see how humid it is here? As soon as I take That's this glass sure. out of there, I condensation. There's bird poop in here, like cardinal. Oh, where'd that come? So there's a cardinal that was sleeping in the garage overnight and it pooped in the garage. What did you expect it to do? Go outside to use the bathroom? Okay, so there's those. I'm using a screwdriver. Real special like that. And I also got this size of jar. So these are gonna go in the house, in the pantry in the house for uh, filling up there and then like we'll sort of come shop from our own selection of stuff out here to refill the house jars. So these, um, I think I might have gotten two packages of that size of jar. Yes. There you go, that size. Then I got these lids. These are the Gamma Seal lids. Unfortunately, they didn't have any of the buckets, so I have lids and no buckets. Uh, but these are the kind that seal on, give you a nice airtight seal, but then you've got the twist off top so you can still get to what's inside of it without having to unseal and reseal the bucket every time, which is a pain in the butt. even bigger glass jars, a set of four of these. So these will also live in the house, maybe. Actually, I'm not sure. I don't know if these will live in the house. I think maybe that medium-sized one, and these will stay out here. Um, 
Let's hope they were out of a lot of things and I don't remember. I'm kind of concerned that my lids for those were out of stock. <laughs> so we may not be using them until next month if the lids come back. Okay, another set of those. Why am I wearing a long sleeve shirt and jeans? I don't know. Oh, I guess I got three sets of those. <laughs> really excited about jars. Now we're getting into the good stuff. We have a five pound bag of organic pinto, are these, yes, the pinto beans. We've got a bag of pinto beans. These I will, if I have lids, these are the things I'll transfer to the jars for storage. So we've got pinto beans though for now they're perfectly fine in here. Um, I've got a thing of all-purpose flour. This is a five pound bag of all-purpose flour. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Lids. Uh, this is bread flour. I got a five pound bag of bread flour. Oh no, it's 10 pounds. Really? Okay. 10 pounds of bread flour, 10 pounds of all-purpose flour. That doesn't feel like 10 pounds. That must mean I'm getting stronger. He doesn't care, he's totally ignoring me over there. And this is a five pound bag of rolled oats. The August sales flyer in here. And then, ah! We've got a five pound thing of polenta or corn grits. I love grits, I love corn grits. I love, I don't know. In the South we call it grits, not polenta, but it's good. All right. Five pound bag of organic black beans. This is a five pound bag of cane sugar. And then I did, I'm trying to slowly, as I get anything new for my kitchen, I'm trying to get rid of plastics in the kitchen, plastic bowls, um, plastic, just plastic, as much plastic as I can get rid of. Um, so I did purchase two stainless steel. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I guess I got, these are the five quart. Yeah, so I got two of the five quart stainless steel mixing bowls and then two of the three quart stainless steel mixing bowls. And some white basmati rice, a five pound bag of white rice. All right, and then here we've got a five pound bag of, or it's actually a four and a half pound bag of elbow macaroni. Got some things of parchment, ba parchment baking paper, so parchment paper, which I use for breads, um, stuff like that. Then we've got a little teeny one pound bag of chocolate chips. I definitely could have got a bigger bag than that. Next month, <laughs> I will. Uh, then this is kidney beans, another five pound bag of kidney beans. My feet are starting to hurt. A four and a half pound bag of penne pasta noodles. Then I got a thing of organic vanilla extract, uh, 16 ounces of vanilla extract. Uh-oh, something, I think that might have spilled a little bit. Um, this is canola oil, a one gallon of vegetable oil, basically, canola oil. Got a little thing of colloidal silver spray. After my eye incident, I realized that I didn't have enough of that around, so some colloidal silver spray. Also got a uh, 32 ounce, this is a glass jar of extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. A sifter for bread making. I have a sifter, but it's very small. Uh, so I wanted a slightly bigger sifter. And then I also wanted, this is a one gallon stainless steel compost keeper. Wanted something for our kitchen counter um, for scraps because we give so much scraps to the animals, um, but sometimes the kids are distracted, they don't wanna go do it right that minute, so having a 
a compost keeper just so that we have a place we can store food as we're cooking for the day and then take it out and share it with the animals. This is probably unnecessary, but I really wanted it. Uh, this is a tomato slicer knife. Um, I've been eating a lot, of, a lot of tomatoes lately and uh, a specialty knife just for slicing tomatoes to get them that perfectly thin slice where it doesn't pull on the skin and mess up the tomato can be difficult. So a tomato slicing knife. And then this is um, a bread knife, I believe. Yeah, Anthem Wave 8 inch bread knife. We have a bread knife, doesn't really work all that well. So I thought I would try this one. And then the last thing is just a set of stainless steel drinking straws to add to our collection of straws. That is everything from Azure Standard. I'm, I mean, I haven't eaten any of it yet, so I can't say if I'm like, I mean, I, I would imagine it's probably good, but I'm very pleased. This was an easy experience to like do the drop. Everybody there was really nice. We just picked up, loaded up and left. Um, yeah, so, so far I'm, I'm, I'm really happy and the packaging of everything seems good and I don't need to like rush to transfer things. Um, I think the packaging they're in should all keep them pretty well stored and safe. So I might need to go inside and change my shirt. I'm sweating. It is warm. Like a hooker in church. All right guys, that is actually gonna be it for today's vlog. After we went inside and finished putting away the order and everything, I ended up grabbing Grand Nana and we went to the store to get uh, the last minute things we needed for the twins and Rosie's birthday party this weekend and presents. It's just, we're, we are in like full on birthday mode this week with the twins turning. Well, actually the day you guys are watching this is the twins fourth birthday. So happy birthday, Ivy and Amelia. So they're turning four, Rosie's turning 10 on Friday. Um, so we're just like in full birthday party prep mode over here. This vlog is a little bit short and sweet, but I know many of you guys were interested in finding out what we were ordering and the, you know, the bulk food service thing that I had mentioned in previous vlogs. So I just wanted to kind of share our first initial experience with it. You can go to their website and put in your zip code and see if there's a drop near you. I was kind of surprised. I expected there not to be because the person that I, um, the channel that I watched where I first learned about um, Azure Standard was I believe like in Idaho or something. So I just kind of wrongly assumed that they wouldn't deliver out here where we are, but I was very surprised. They have a lot of drop locations and um, they've really grown, I think since the pandemic and everything, because a lot more people are realizing that they wanna be prepared um, if something like that were to happen again. And it's one thing to be out of toilet paper, but it's a whole nother thing to be out of food to eat, uh, particularly when like in our instance, you're trying to feed 10 people. Um, so that was really, it's so funny because I think back to a year ago at this time, and that was really like a huge catalyst for us and wanting to go ahead and move forward and try to find a farm and, you know, be able to kind of start growing our food and figuring that stuff out is just never wanting to be left um, empty handed, you know, as they say, holding the bag and, and not having what we needed for our family. So um, all jokes aside, you know, I like to joke about prepping and all that kind of stuff, but we're very excited to be able to finally start building up a food storage and growing food in our garden. And obviously it's not nearly enough to sustain us, but you got to start somewhere and you got to learn along the way. You can't just show up one day and be like, I think I'll grow enough food for our entire family all year. That's never going to happen. So anyways, that's it for today's video. Little J man is standing over here staring at me because I got him a new pair of shoes at Target and he's dying for me to go get them out of the car <laughs> so that he can put them on. So let me go get this little man his new shoes. You wanna tell everybody bye? Bye. Say see you later? See you later. What, what don't you wanna say see you later tweets? Or just see, see you later. later tweets. Where are you? They can't see, see they can't see you. See you later tweets. No. Okay, bye. <laughs> You play things that you do on somebody else. Mm. No. But they all see, but they all see.